A while ago, um, I made a wrap skirt slash dress out of some beautiful, um, there were two layers of fabric, some teal chiffon and uh, some rayon print fabric. Uh, that was a uh, project that I designed from scratch uh, with very little experience sewing <laughs> behind me. I've never used a commercial pattern before uh, and uh, never I had never constructed a garment from from A to Z um, so at any rate lots of mistakes were made and I have a ridiculous amount of uh, leftover bits <laughs> from, from that project um, and I, um, I hate to see all of this go to waste. Um, so here's what I'm thinking, what I've been thinking. Um, I'm going to separate out the, the rayon from the, the, chiff the, it's not chiffon, did I say chiffon? It's not chiffon, it's got a, a f more fancy name, which I can't recall right now. Uh, so I, I, I want to uh, separate the print fabric from this teal fabric. And with the uh, print fabric, I want to see <laughs> if I can put together enough bigger bits anyway uh, to make a tiered uh, baby doll dress. Um, I actually don't know, um, but if I can maybe put together enough of these into bands and then, because that's how a tiered dress is built, um, I do have uh, bigger pieces of fabric, uh, some bigger leftovers. So, uh, that's what I have in mind. Um, so this project will be built in, in two parts. Uh, oh, look at that, I can do a whole skirt with this. <laughs> Uh, at any rate, um, the the upper part of the, the baby doll dress uh, is going to be a knit, uh, like a, a, a knit bralette top. Uh, I also knit. Uh, actually, this entire outfit is I also designed and, and made. Uh, so I was knitting before I was sewing. Uh, so it's good to bring the two together. Uh, so I've, I've ordered already some, some thread to do the top in a needed, needed form. And uh, I'm going to start working on, on, on what kind of a, of a dress, I, uh, a skirt I can make with uh, all of this, these bits of fabrics that I have left. Hi, I'm Agnes. I like sewing, I like fashion, I like creating. I like a challenge. I was able to, uh, out of all the scraps of uh, fabrics that I had, I was able to find, uh, to cut what I needed um, to make a, a tiered uh, skirt uh, for, for my baby doll dress. Um, so I'm gonna go over, uh, those are all, there are three uh, rectangles, long rectangles. Uh, and there's a, it's all over the internet, there's a very easy way, a very easy rule for determining how tall they have to be and how long. Uh, so mine are 18 centimeter long. Um, each of them is 18 centimeter, uh, I should say wide, they're folded here. <laughs> so they're 18 centimeter wide. Um, so I have the um, top tier of the dress that is 128 centimeters. I labeled this is a single piece that's 128 centimeters long. Uh, these are two pieces. Uh, no, tier two. I <laughs> I had to 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 really scrounge up fabric. Uh, so uh, so I cut tier three first out of my two largest pieces of fabric. So I have two times 104 centimeters for tier three. Uh, so a total of 208 centimeters. Tier one is all in one piece, 128 centimeters, and then tier three, I have a piece at 102 centimeters, and then I added two pieces, two short pieces, 
that are 42 centimeters, so really scrounging up. What I have left now of, ray, of this rayon fabric, um, I was actually able to uh, salvage a big one big piece, so this skin is useful. It's gonna, uh, definitely going to be useful in the future, so I'm going to keep that in my stash. Um, and then I just have little bits and pieces that I'm still sorting through, and I'll probably have to throw out most of it. Um, so yeah, let, let me go through uh, how to determine uh, how high to make a um, uh, how how to determine the the size of the those uh, three bands uh, that will then be assembled into a uh, tiered skirt. So I've never made a tiered uh, skirt before, um, but it seems really easy. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to try. Uh, the, um, the basic principle behind it is that you're going to be cutting, uh, usually make those three tier is, is common. Um, so if you're making it three tiers, you want to cut three rectangles of fabric. So there's no, no fancy drawing or anything here. So three rectangles of fabric, uh, and I'm not going to draw them really to scale. So I want this to all fit on this page. Anyway, you cut your three rectangles of fabric, each tier. So I'm, I'm going to call them tier, this is going to be tier one, tier two, and tier three. Uh, and you need to determine how wide to make them, how tall and, and how long. Um, so to get the, the, the height of each of those, uh, what you need to do is to decide how long you want your, your skirt to be. Um, so you want to take the length Um, and then uh, divide by three. Uh, in my case, I ended up fudging it a little bit, um, but as an example, uh, mine, uh, well, I wanted it to be 45 centimeters length. Um, so if you divide by three, uh, it means that each of my rectangles should be 15 centimeter long. But don't forget seam allowances. Um, so you have to add that, um, <clears throat> you need to add the seam allowance, um, and each tier, so in, in my case, I am going to be attaching tier one to a bodice. I'm not making a waistband. So if you're making a waistband, uh, you need to add more. You obviously need to add the waistband, um, allowance to tier one. So I'm going to give you kind of a simplified version because I am using that uh, to, that, to, to make a dress. To, it'll be attached to a body. So tier one, two, and three to me will be all equal in height. Um, and so what you want to do is to add, uh, they say an inch to that. I'm not, I'm using centimeters. So what I did is an inch is 2.5 centimeters. So I did three centimeters. To, it's always better to have more rather than not enough. So to each of my tiers, I added three centimeters. So mine ended up being 18 centimeters tall. That's how I got that. So that's it. Uh, that's for the height. And then there, there are rules for how long each needs to be. So what you do is you measure over here. So if you're making this a skirt, this should be your waistline. You measure all around. This should be your waistline. In my case, it's going to be a baby doll's dress, which means the skirt is going to attach right underneath my uh, bre my um, what's it called, the bust. Yeah. Uh, and so for me, um, I took that, and that was 74 centimeters. So this was for my under bust. So I took that as my baseline measurement. Um, let me see, let's, I'm going to call it C, C for circumference. So whatever it is, your waist, 
onto the bust wherever this skirt is going to be attached. You got to take that measurement. And then uh, for tier one, you want to take that and multiply by 1.5. This, I just grabbed this off the internet, you guys. I think it's pretty famous. Uh, tier two, you want to take that measurement and multiply by two. For tier three, you want to take that measurement and multiply by 2.7. And all of those proportions uh, ensure that you're going to have enough gathering so you get this effect of, of a gathered, tiered skirt. Um, if you don't want to go less, but you can go a little, a little more. So this is precise. If you go too much off of that, you're not going to get the length that you desire in <laughs> any any fudging you do on one of these is going to be multiplied by three. You're going to get a length that's different from what you intended. Um, but that can be fudged more, uh, at least if you increase the length. So mine are, I just wanted to utilize my fabric. So it's not exactly that. It's a little more on each. And that's fine. I'll see, I'll see how, how it gathers. Um, but that's how I got my, uh, my rectangles.